Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, what we have seen is we have implemented the routing for the present application. So counter, post and all those things we have seen. Let's come to the state management thing. So this NGRX project, counter project. If you try to see the counter project, so what we are trying to see, if we are, we are doing the increment and all those things we are trying to see, right? So if any problem arises, if any problem arises in this one, how we can debug the counter so whether the how, how, whether the action is submitting or not whether the state is updating or not so how we can how we can debug the code so uh, ultimately what we have is we have a we have an option for this one we have a library in ngrx for debugging the state application so for example when you are performing an action we can debug that action and we can check whether the state what it has been updated from which from what is the value and what is the state it is going to be updated and each and every action you can track the track this one so what is the package we need to use is so let's go to the ngrx and in this ngrx let's go to the docs and here in the docs if we go to the state first one we have seen the ngrx store second one is the ngrx store dev tools what is this one it will do is provides a developer tools and instrumentation for this solution store that means the developer tools is nothing but the state we can we can debug the state so if we got if we get anything wrong or anything so we can we can we can debug the code using this store dev tools so how to how to how to install the store dev tools into our application let's try to see first before doing this one what we need to do is we need to install the package that is nothing but the redux redux chrome extension Okay, so let's type in the Google Redux Chrome extension. If you go into the Redux Dev Tools extension, you'll be able to see this one. Now, if I click in the into this one, you'll be able to see in the Chrome Web Store Redux Dev Tools. So this is the Redux Dev Tools. So first, we need to install this Redux Dev Tools. As I have already installed this Redux Dev Tools, so here you will be having an option that add to Chrome. So you need to add it to Chrome. So I have already added. So that is the reason it is showing that remove from Chrome. So now when you install this one. If you open your application okay now here in this one you will be able to see option redux okay so this is the redux and here it is saying that no store phone make sure the following instructions it is saying that no store phone so that means actually the store is present in this application but it is saying that I am able to I am able to identify the store so now whatever the debug we are doing it will be reflected in this redux tab okay you will be able to so let's go to the inspect tools after installing that uh, after installing that uh, redux dev tools application okay and you can go to the here you will be able to find an option redux okay if you are not able to find the option please restart the chrome browser then you will be able to see the redux option below this uh, below this uh, inspect dev tools okay now we have installed the redux dev tools and we are able to see this black color screen and redux option and here we are able to find that no store font it is showing that now what we need to do is we need to install the store dev tools into our application so that redux will be able to recognize this one how we can install this one let's go to the installation and copy this package name and here let's go here and install the package so i am installing the package so it will take some time to install the package let it install okay the package has been successfully installed so now the package install if you if you want to see you can go here and if you open the package.json here in the package.json you will be able to find the ngrx store dev tools 10.1.1 has been installed and the store is a 10.1.0 which we have already installed earlier now what i will try to do is so first option is completed now what we will do these are all the other ways of installing the ngrx store dev tools now let's go to the overview and here if you see the overview so here is the here is the first step they are they say telling that download the redux dev tool extension so we have successfully installed the redux dev tool extension and now we need to install the ngrx store dev tools we have installed that one also now the second one is go to your app module and add instrumentation to the module imports using store dev tools module dot instrument so that means we need to copy these lines okay instrumentation must be imported so we are adding in instrument is nothing but the instrumentation so we are adding an instrument to the store so dev, dev tools is an instrumentation now here let's go to the app module and here let's in the imports let's paste this one so this is the store dev tools module we need to import this one let's import this one 
from the store dev tools module like so it should be imported from the ngrx ngrx hyphen store uh, store ngrx slash store hyphen dev tools store dev tools module same thing like store module you will be having store dev tools module now here dot instrument it should be taking dot instrument and the maximum age is the 25 25 means nothing but what we can say is the states the number of states it should uh, the number of states means nothing but the actions so increment decrement we are doing some actions right so those type of actions it will realize it will recognize only up to 25 let's remove this one so that it will realize up unlimited and this one is a log only so here we can uh, need to import it from the environment okay so i imported it from the environment dot production log only dot environment dot production means so we are restricting the ex extension to the log only mode in the production so that means when we are debugging in the production so the redux dev tools will not recognize this actions and all those things we will be not able to debug so only do the log only in the production we are seeing now this is that's it so we have installed the store dev tools and we have added in the app module and also we have downloaded the redux dev tools extension from the chrome for the chrome now let's try to refresh this one so here wait let's go to the ngrx counter and let's refresh this code if i try to refresh this code it is telling some error okay no problem what we need to do is let's remove this one and rerun it again sometimes angular will throw some errors so if you are able to find this type of errors means just what you can do is just stop the server and rerun it again so using that ng serve all will be set okay now see if you try to see here i ran i ran that ng serve now everything is executed without any problem without any errors so now if i try to refresh so now i am able to see the output without any problem and here in the redx now previously what it has been shown it has shown that no store has been found now it is showing that store in it so store in means store has been initialized so what is the data so right now there is no state data now what i will try to do is i will try to increment so sorry so here we are having the counter so right now we will be have we have initialized it right so this is the state data we are having counter we have initialized it to 4 by default and the channel name is the lila web dev so from where it is coming it is coming from the counter dot state dot ts okay so this is this is the object it is showing so from where this one is showing we have initialized this one in the counter here so the counter counter reducer so the counter is nothing but the counter here this one and the counter reducer so it is throwing this object okay so this is one set of object okay now here store has been initialized now i clicked on the increment see immediately the increment action has been fired if you try to see the action so this is the type of type increment and this is the action name increment so this this name where it is coming let's go to the counter dot actions okay if you go here this is the name what we are trying to show okay so this is the name what is trying to display now here increment here we are able to see the increment okay now if i try to click on decrement see here i am able to find so action decrement has been fired so here we are able to see the type decrement and here if i try to see the state it has been updated now if i try to see the raw data the counter it has been so if i increment here so the counter has been upgraded to 5 the channel name is lila web dev right now when i click on this button modified lila so change channel name action has been filed if you try to see here the channel name is has been updated to the modified lila web dev so that means we are able to track the each and every action so if an if action is not firing means you can able to check here whether the action is if the action is fired when you are firing the action but you are not able to update see the updated content in the state means you can you, you can see here you can debug here whether the action is firing or not if the action is firing so what is what is the code wrong we have written in the reducer we can be able to debug okay now here if i try to do the i will try to send the 4 and click on add to counter so this is the custom increment action that has been fired and here if you try to see the custom increment okay chart and here we are able to see the state div and action yeah here is the action and we are trying to send the count 4 right we are sending the props right so here we are getting the count 4 and for that count 4 it has been incremented to the counter 9 so in this way we can be able to debug so now here there will be also a timeline here so we can be able to see the timeline so if i click on play here so from first onwards it will happen see here the count is incrementing see you are able to see see the count has become 9 
so each actions what we have did up to now so this all will be stored in a timeline so that you can go to the whatever the time you want you can go at what time which action has been fired and you can go through the process okay so in large applications this timeline will be very useful So this is how we can debug the state management in the Redux Dev Tools. Okay, so this is the use of the NGRX Store Dev Tools here. And in the future videos, we will learn about this NGRX effects, NGRX effects, and the NGRX Outer Store where we will be using and where it will be useful. Right now, we have learned about this NGRX Store and also the NGRX Store Dev Tools. How to use this Store Dev Tools? So now onwards, come from coming videos onwards, we will be using this Redux Dev Tools management to debug our code. Why? Because the code will become bigger and bigger, right? We can use this one. So whether the actions will be firing or not, if you if you have any problem, if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.